Hi, I'm here on Loch Earn today in this 2001 Maxim 1800 SR. This is a 3 litre Mercruiser petrol engine with Alpha 1 outdrive. Just looking at the dashboard here, everything is working. Some of these gauges have been replaced. The oil pressure gauge has been replaced. The temperature gauge is original. The speedometer is original. The trim gauge has been replaced. The tachometer has been replaced. The fuel gauge has been replaced. And the voltage gauge is original. I've also added this Garmin GPS map 551 chart plotter that comes complete with charts for Loch Erne, the Shannon, and also for Irish coastal waters. I've also added a Cobra Marine VHF radio. It's a digital VHF radio and it's connected to the GPS. So the coordinates from the GPS are fed into the VHF radio. The boat is registered on Loch Erne and there's also a ship's radio license for the VHF radio. All of these switches work, the blower, the bilge, the accessories, navigation lights, anchor lights, and of course the horn. There's also a stereo. Stereo is in the glove compartment, but the speakers are under the dash. That's also working perfectly. There's two speakers there. It works absolutely perfectly. It's got an auxiliary input, so you can plug in a phone for music. It's also got a CD, which is working, and the FM radio also works. Regarding the boat, I've owned the boat for this will be my eighth season with the boat. It did have one season off due to COVID where I just left it in dry storage. But apart from that, I've used it every summer. In terms of maintenance, the boat has got absolutely everything it's ever needed. Every year, the engine is serviced. Filters, so oil filter, fuel filter, oil, engine oil, gear oil. Uh, the anodes are done every year. Every three years, the gimbal bearing is done. Every three years, the bellows are done, and when I say the bellows, I mean the drive bellows, the gear bellows, and the exhaust bellows. The hydraulics in the outdrive were replaced a number of years ago. The gear cables from the controls to the engine, gear and throttle cables have been replaced, and also the gear cable from the engine to the outdrive have been replaced. So it's in really, really straight boat. I've maintained it very, very well, meticulously, I would say. The interior is absolutely spotless. It's always got a good clean and polish every season. All of the upholstery is very good. Every year I shampoo the carpets, the glass gets cleaned. So really it's a very, very straight boat. I'll give you a little bit of a tour around now and then we'll take it for a drive. There's comfortable seating in the bow for two adults or maybe three children and the storage on each of the seats. On this side, there's a drain from the storage to the bilge, so it's a suitable place for ice or wet gear. This side there's another compartment and a compartment in the front might be suitable for an anchor. This is the front seat on the passenger side. It's where the glove box is located. CD player, FM radio is located in the glove box. There's also a nice cup holder there and a little cubby here for storage. This seat and the driver's seat fold down flat into sun loungers and I'll show you that in a moment. So this is the passenger side seat folded down flat as a sun lounger. This is the back-to-back -back seating on the passenger side in its normal configuration and it's identical on the driver's side. This is an ideal seat for a spotter. If you've got somebody water skiing, it's a very comfortable position for that person or the spotter in the boat to keep an eye on the water skier at all times. And this is the back-to-back -back seating on the driver's side. It's exactly the same as the passenger side. Okay, here are the two rear seats, one on each side and the sun pad on top of the engine. Okay, so finally, this is the swim platform at the back of the boat. There's a stainless steel ladder here for climbing off the platform. Uh, I replaced that so it's relatively new and it works perfectly. There it is. And on the other side, there's a bracket for an auxiliary engine. Uh, I have a four horsepower Yamaha on that uh, bracket. That's not included in the sale, but it can be sold separately. Here's the engine. It's a Mir Cruiser three liter petrol engine, inline four cylinders. It's not a fuel injected engine. It has a carburetor. There's really no electronics to go wrong in it. While I've owned the boat, I've changed the fuel filter, the oil filter, the spark plugs, the engine oil, and the gearbox oil every season. Additional to that, I've also changed this V-belt and I've changed a couple of starter motors. In terms of power, it's got loads of power. I comfortably water ski behind the boat on one ski with three people in the boat. Wakeboarding, no problem. Inflatables, no problem. Kneeboarding, no problem. Uh, it's got enough power for any water sports like that. Okay, so just a couple of other points about the boat. The reason I'm selling the boat is not that I don't like the boat, I love it, but I just want to buy something slightly bigger. 
That's why it's been so well maintained. I didn't intend to sell it. The boat has three sets of canvas, so it has mooring covers, which have recently been uh, washed, recolored, and re-waterproofed, so they're almost like new. Uh, it's got a soft top, kind of bimini type cover that connects to the windscreen here and goes to about halfway. That's original with the boat, but it was never used by the previous owner, so it's in perfect condition. And then I got uh, Isinglass sides for that and a slant back, which I imported from America from a company called Lita's Top Shop. Uh, that company used to make covers for US Marines, so they actually have the original patterns for this boat on file. Uh, and then additional to that, I've got a trailering cover, which I only use uh, when I'm moving the boat on the trailer. So that covers the whole boat and maybe halfway down the hull. So it kind of keeps it clean when you're trailering it. Then in terms of the trailer, the trailer has been substantially refurbished. So every nut and bolt on the trailer has been removed and replaced with marine stainless steel nuts, including the U-bolts, nuts and bolts. Um, the leaf springs have been replaced, the bushings for the leaf springs have been replaced, the wheel hubs have been replaced, the bearings have been replaced, the wheels have been replaced, uh, the wheels have a good set of tires and the original wheels have been kept as spares and they've got a new set of tires. All of the lights on the trailer have been replaced with submersible LED lights. There's a place for the number plate permanently on the trailer that you don't have to remove when you're taking the boat on and off. The carpet on the bunks of the trailer have been replaced. The hitch has been replaced with a UK hitch, slightly different size from American hitch. The winch has been replaced and I have also added some safety chains. Also the strap for the winch. So the trailer is in absolutely perfect condition, couldn't be better. Okay, just two more points. Uh, I forgot to mention earlier that every year that the boat is serviced, the impeller is changed in the outdrive. And I also forgot to mention that the gear cables and throttle cables have been replaced. So you'll see the boat goes into gear very easily. In easily, out easily, into reverse easily, back to neutral easily. And lastly, I have a folder full of receipts. So for any prospective buyer, they want to confirm that the service has been done as described I can show you all the receipts okay now let's take the boat for a spin okay let's see how long it takes to get on the plane I don't think I've ever used more than 50 euros, sorry, well, sorry 50 litres in, in, in petrol in one day maximum. And I think the tank will take 110 litres in total. 